Rhonda, one of the messages in the film appears to be about trust, which is something that all of us can probably say we struggle with. Mm -hmm. um, how did that play out in this, you know, changing of your whole life view from going into the sort of the mind to the heart? And also, how did that transcend when making the film? Well, I had to really learn to trust much more deeply because my life experience having endured prolonged um, sexual abuse as a child was all about there. There was nothing I could trust. I couldn't even trust uh, myself to respond in a certain way. And so I had to completely let go of what I thought this film was going to be about over and over and over again and just keep going with it and, and shake things up when I got to be sort of, you know, what, what anticipating what I thought needed to happen I would had to do things like jump out of a plane and say I mean, I've got to trust as I say in the film that, it, that the parachute's going to open that the pilot's going to be able to fly the plane and so trusting is the hardest thing for any of us I don't care what your background is about but trusting the unknown because it was that certain trajectory or so I thought of financial success and going off into the sunset of retirement versus I don't know what's going to happen next but I was as long as I kept trusting, that left room for things, the unexpected, miraculous things to happen as they have over and over in this film. You mentioned that from an early age you had what's called clear audience. Mm -hmm. Can you tell us what that is? Well, it's, it's a faculty, we tend to call it a higher mind faculty, but it's all an intuitive faculties where I could hear things that I learned as I grew up that other people weren't hearing. So I, I thought everybody had this. And so I would hear things or I would know things, clairsentience. And there's actually six higher mind functions, which include taste and touch and smell. But I had I could hear things and I then learned to hide it because if I said, oh, by the way, so-and-so is about to pass away, uh, it would scare everybody. So I was told don't do that. So I, I shut that down for a while until um, all this job loss that happened and I said well I think there, this is part of what I'm here to do is to share this intuitive knowing that I have with uh, with more people that didn't fit in in the world of finance and banking that's for sure.